kids and grown-ups, welcome back to Kids Life Online. My name is Isabel and I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Grown-ups, don't forget that you can also connect with the wider New Life Online community by visiting church.nu forward slash online. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of Kids Life. We have a great service in store today, so let's jump right in. different foods. Hayden likes noodles. They are so fun to slurp. And Poppy's favorite food is pizza with all the toppings. And Sam likes corn. I love all my friends. How do I pick what food to make? Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Peyton. Ho, ho. 
cooking tasty treats, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I want my food truck to serve food for my friends, but they all like different things. Everyone is different. Yes, it's true. But God loves us all. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! I call them my boo-boo bites. See the heart with the Band-Aid? Raise your hand if you've ever put a Band-Aid on a boo-boo. Yes, that's a lot of you. I have two. In fact, I have one on my arm right now. <laughs> Today, I have a story about someone who had a lot of boo-boos. Do you want to hear it? If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This true story from the Bible begins with a man who has lots of boo-boos. He was sick with something called leprosy. He had spots all over his body and there were no doctors or medicine that could help him get better. People couldn't be near the man because he was sick. This man had to live all by himself without any family or any friends. Having all these boo-boos made this man very sad. Can you show me your sad face? Those are some very sad faces, just like the sick man. One day, a very special man came to town. Do you know who that is? Yes, it's Jesus. Remember, Jesus is God's son and Jesus can do amazing things. The sick man knelt in front of Jesus and said that he knew Jesus could make him all better if he wanted to. And do you think Jesus helped the man and made him all better? Yes, he did. Jesus reached out and touched the man. At once, the man was all better. No more boo-boos, they were all gone. He was healed. Wow, <laughs> Jesus was kind and loving to the man, even though nobody else was. Jesus touched the man even though nobody else would. Jesus made the man all better when no one else could. And when we're sad or sick or tired, we can know that Jesus loves us too. Jesus loves me and Jesus loves you. Jesus loves everyone. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Who? Oh, who? hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loved the man who was sick, and Jesus loves all of us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the man was so sick, and no one wanted to be around him. But Jesus loved him and made him all better. Jesus loves everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Jesus loves everyone, so I'm going to make food that everyone likes. I can even take my food truck outside for everyone in the neighborhood to enjoy. See you next time. Bye. What a great story. Remember, you can trust God no matter what. He can help you make wise choices and treat others the way you want to be treated.